Hey everyone, I want to do a, a quick comparison between these two 34 millimeter scope mounts that I have. Okay, so one is U2, UTG and the other one is Aerial Precision. Uh, the difference in price is $35 from Amazon for the UTG, okay, and the Aerial Precision, uh, it's $95 from Optics Planet. Now they list it at $105 and then with the, you know, with the, with the various discounts that you can get, um, they usually throw out like 10%, 12% discounts around the holidays. Uh, I got that for $95. Okay. Now, the uh, the UTG for $35, I mean, I think this is really nice. Okay, It's got the, the three screws here to hold it in place, which I think is now kind of becoming standard. Um, it's got these beautiful cuts over here to lighten it up. Okay, so uh, the UTG one weighs in at 5.8 ounces. Okay, uh, actually weighed it on the scale over here, 5.8 ounces. The aerial precision uh, comes in a little bit lighter at 4, 4.2 ounces. So you got a difference of 1.6 ounces. So this is a tad bit, tad bit lighter. I've covered this before in reviews. Um, if you notice, this has like this handshake lock thing at the top. Um, I have this on another rifle. Uh, I've been, I've been, I mean, the exact same thing. I've been using it on my primary arms, uh, one to ten uh, by twenty-eight SLX. Um, so I've done, I've reviewed this before. This exact same one. It works great. Okay, it's beautiful. It does the job. Uh, but it's going to go back. <laughs> um, the reason why this one is going back is because the rifle that I'm trying to outfit right now. Um, it is a 5 to 25 scope, and I decided I was able to find uh, an Arkin 20 MOA uh, mount uh, for what was it? it was, uh, I don't remember the price, but it wasn't expensive. It was like maybe it was, it was, I think it was like around $60, $70. I'll do a review on that when I get it. Um, so because it's a 5 to 25, I want to go with the 20, uh, the 20 MOA. So this at this at $95, uh, it's it's a little too expensive to keep around unless I have a very specific need for it. Um, so this is going to go back, okay? But it's really nice. I've reviewed this before. In fact, I'll show it to you guys on my other rifle uh, that, that's been, you know, where it's been working. Uh, so it's 4.2 ounces. It's a little bit lighter. Um, it doesn't have any, like, fancy cuts or anything. They just It's just, it's just lighter. Um now, if you look at these two side by side, right, it, now this one, don't be deceived by this having like an oval shape because, you know, when you put the scope in there and it closes like this, it's, it's going to take a round shape. Okay. Um, I, now the, the thing I was sort of concerned with is the height, um, specifically for the scope that I'm planning to mount this one on, because I don't have the 20 MOA one yet. I'm going to be using this, um, this one from UB, UTG until I get the uh, uh, the other one in. This one, since I only paid thirty five dollars for it, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this as a backup. And in fact, I also got a uh, a thirty millimeter one, right? So since they were thirty five dollars each, that's like okay, that's at a price point where you know what? Uh, it's always good to have an extra scope mount around, and I already have another extra. Uh, scope mount around so but th at $35 it's like you know it looks nice uh, I'm going to keep it uh, aerial precision at $95 yeah you're great but you're going back okay uh, I'm not going to spend $95 until I actually know that I'm going to need it now um, as far as um, if you look at these two right initially when I my, my concern initially was the height all right because this one over here says high okay so they have high they have another one that's medium uh, and then they have another one, I guess that's low, okay? So I was worried about how these two are going to compare. Now, like I said, this is already on my uh, on my uh, primary arms SLX 1 to 10. So I know that this height here is correct, okay? All right, so what I did is I just took a, a level over here, and I matched it up to the bottom, the bottom over here, Um and they are exactly at the same height. Okay, I'm not going to do it now because I'm kind of holding this camera one-handed. So, so these two, the aerial precision one, okay, and this UTG high sit at the same height. So if you get the medium one, you're probably going to be lower. 
um, and if you get the low one, you're going to be really low. And especially like if you have a large objective lens, so like a lot of these 34 millimeter um, um, scopes, they have these large objective lenses. You know, um, there's a possibility that it might be hitting your rail. Okay, so the, the this this one over here seems to be very standard height, and this one over here, you know, this the aerial precision, and this one matches it in height. So if you're ordering the um, uh, the UTG one, uh, get get the high one, okay? Because the medium one's going to be lower than standard, and the low one's going to be a lot lower than standard, okay? Um, so that's the again. I've covered this before in other reviews in the past. Uh, this works great. It's beautiful, uh, but if, if I if I didn't decide I needed a twenty MOA, I you know I, I would have stayed with. I probably you know in other words, if, if Aerial Precision offered this in twenty MOA, I probably would have uh, got that one and stayed with it. But they don't. Um, or if they do, you got to spend like a, a shit lo a shit ton more money. And I just didn't see a need for it. If I can get one uh, from Arkin. 20 MOA for whatever, $70, I'm getting that, okay? That that, that will fit the bill. Now, one of the nice things about uh, Aerial Precision, okay, again, this also has the three the three uh, screws over here. Uh, one of the nice things about Aerial Precision is that they, they do give you this beautiful key. I, I love the key that they give you, right? So that's a nice, uh, um, what is this? a nice star key that they give you because these are all star screws. Um, UTG does give you... Uh, and it looks like they give you two extra screws and they give you a an Allen key. So, uh, but but Aero Precision does for that extra for the ninety five dollars, right? For, for double the price, you get a nice a nice key out of it. Well, double the price and one point six ounces less. Now now the Arkin one one, uh, I don't know what the weight of that is going to be, right? So that's going to be a twenty m away, uh, and that one actually looked up the price at seventy dollars. So that's that's exactly what it is. Uh, and I got this one from Amazon. Um, so Arkin is, com is coming from Amazon. That's supposed to be here, I think, just before Christmas. So about, about two weeks out from now. Uh, rather, 10 days out from now. Aerial Precision, I got from Optics Planet after discounts. So that came in at $95. And the UTG High, right? Remember, you need the high one, right, for most of your scopes. Uh, that came in at $35 uh, for, for Amazon. Um, this is the one that's going to go on the, on, on, the, on the rifle. And... Uh, I'm going to give you, you know, basically that's what you'll be looking at, and we'll talk about that some more. And this, we already know what this does because I've already reviewed it in the past. Hey, everyone. I wanted to show you these two mounts uh, on the rifles with the scopes. Okay, so this one here is the UTG one. Okay, so that's on there. That's what that looks. Here, I'll flip, flip it over here. And this one here is the area of precision. This is the, the the first one I had. So, all right. So that's how that looks. So this has been on here for over a year at this point. So works great. Very happy with it. So no trouble at all with uh, the aerial precision. I probably would have put it on this rifle here if aerial precision offered it in the 20 MOA at, at about the same price, but. Um, yeah, as it stands, um, well, this scope isn't going to stay on this rifle. It's going to end up on a 308, but I'm going to be testing it out here. Well, that's just a 5.56 Palmetto uh, upper with an aerial lower. And that's the 5 to 25 by 56 uh, primary arms scope.